laser, hit the Gordo back, and he can juggle D, uh, DDD really yep. well. Uh, now the votes are saying 79% Apeit, man, 21% oh. Atomisk. Yeah, what? <laughs> Yeah, that changed real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Anyways, let's get into it. Adamus with a quick up throw. No follow-up, but this does put uh, Apeman on the right side of the stage. Perfect timing for him to go for this little bit of aggressive neutral air. And then the gyro toss. Looking like he was trying to read a tech chase scenario here. Oh, yeah. Apeman is going in right now. He's not trying to give DD any room to set up. No side Bs at all. But this is where DD is usually really strong. Oh, Ooh, no. no. Oh no! <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Dude, he just went into ledge trap with DD man. He was like, "All right, I get to do the thing. I'm, the thing I'm actually good at, the Gordo at the ledge." And then I, I feel so bad. Just up. So bad. And then he died <laughs> off of it too. That's the worst. DDD is too big, man. Like he'll get hit by that every single time. I Excellent. wonder how many times he was actually just trying to pick up the gyro, but he's just so big that he couldn't pick it up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. Oh, that Ape was Man's definitely going to take that to the bank. Oh, he still definitely. continue to rack up all this percent. Missing the tech on that is going to get a free jab block into the forward smash. Okay. The up tilt. Finally getting that stock out of here. <laughs> They're both just crouching. Okay. Back oh, the Gordo actually gave his back throw a little bit more damage than usual. That was interesting. Yeah. Oh, oh I forgot to do that. Yo, it's we're just reflecting everything back at each other. It's good, too, because specifically in the matchup against DDD, you don't want to give him time to have those Gordos to be a nuisance to you. So if you can find a way to hit him back with any one of your moves, it works really good. But I also like the fact that Adamus is going for that inhale, and then Ooh, he hits a right back. Here. The call out, man. Yeah, if Rob's going high, most of the time he's going to fall on top of you in there. And if you can read that, DD can definitely get that up out of there. But, dude, another stock, man. That up smash is putting in work already, calling out the neutral grid up. And uh, I really do like how Adamist is using this inhale to deal with the projectiles. Because otherwise, um, really, really would be a hard tool to get around this DDD. Yeah, most definitely. Make it a little bit better for him to approach and not having to use side B as much. That's I see, this is what I'm looking about Adamus too. Even though you see him go for the inhale, he knows he's been able to throw back laser, gyro. He's been able to kind of stop Ape It Man with that specific game plan and then put it up against him just a little bit enough for him to get in some aggression. And that's how we're seeing even sock. Yeah. Very good stuff. Great positioning with the Gordo again. He has him at the ledge. Okay. He's gonna go higher. Ooh, no anti-air up smash, but no punish from Ape Man. Okay. Really good positioning on the stage right here. Oh, so patient. Does get the gyro in play. A little bit more room, but that inhale is gonna keep turn that projectile right back in his face. Oh, the gyro hit the gordo right back at him. <laughs> oh my god! Don't you <laughs> dare there. hold that ledge against me, son. Don't you dare. That down air spike is so active, dude. And the yeah. range is insane. Rob's broken. Yeah. Rob is he, broken. Uh, he was just at the high enough percent to have barely any ledge uh, vulnerability. Yeah. Just and from I, the ledge for a little bit of time. Yeah. And of course, shouts to uh, Mask Link is saying here is this best of five? Yes, it is. It is top eight. So it is a best of five set between these two players. That's the thing we love about best of fives. You can see adaptation happen just a little bit more here in top eight. And of course, yeah. if you guys are tuning in in the chat, if you guys are tuning in, in the chat here, please also make sure if you guys see a really good clip, man, post your clips and I can definitely put them at the, highlight, at the end of the match. And I already got one here from... I think it's Scattered Sprites. Yeah, Scattered Sprites. So I'll definitely put that clip. I see it. I like it. And I'll put that clip at the end of the match. So definitely keep an, out, an eye out there for some really good clippable moments. Yeah, that first stock was so tragic. It was pretty tragic. <laughs> but even despite that, Adam is like made it so close. 
Yeah, he did. I think that was what Adam is starting to start to slowly realize was the best game plan he had against Gyro and Laser is to actually inhale them and then reflect them back at Ape Man because you know that Ape Man either puts him out as a trap setup or as an opportunity for Adamus to actually choose an option to either hold shield or move around it. And it's good that Adamus pays attention to that and always finds ways around it here. But it's going to be game two here. We'll see what adaptations Adamus can make because at the ending of the last game, like I said, he definitely made some adaptations there. Yeah. Definitely started to figure some things out. Had Ape Man in some pretty rough spots. I do like that setup he went for there. Trying to nair him back into the Gordo. But uh, yeah, this is a really huge first stock already. 89% untouched. Keeping him bullied off stage as well with his forward air. Yeah. Yep, hey, the Gordo at the ledge again. And don't let that tag Wi-Fi DD fool you, man. Adam Misk has definitely got him some results offline back in the days. Yeah, he's just a good player, like, in general. Mm -hmm. Online, offline, doesn't matter. Okay. He's trying to shark him with this up air since Ape Man continues to go high, but he's just barely missing that opportunity. Yep. Ape Man's trying to play around the inhale as well, though. Which is also good for him. Oh, speak of the devil, right? Playing around it, he definitely played around Adamus with the back air. Caught him dropping shield, though. On that back air, yeah. Very good spacing from Ape Man. Sneaking in that kill. Yeah, those lasting hitbox that Rob has is kind of pretty damaging against King Dedede because he is a big hurtbox. Yeah. Jar at the ledge. Oh, man, he almost got knocked off stage just enough for that side B to connect. Mm -hmm. Excellent counter play from Adamus. Going for that inhale was an excellent move there because he will stop the laser, he will stop that gyro, and he will stop Rob with that back air once again. Oh, nice. He pre he almost had to throw that gyro up so he wouldn't get down aired again. Very likely that he would get spiked in that situation. Okay. Forward air. Oh, missed. Ooh. Excellent tech from Ape man. Yeah. Oh, oh man, the gyro. <laughs> the gyros, even when it's just sitting on the ground, it reflects the Gordo back. That's that's so rough for DDD. That's why it's so good for Ape Man to have it out. And that's why we see Ape, um, Adamus go for these inhales, man. He knows that that gyro is causing him a lot of trouble. Okay. Oh, post oh. for the artery, but no punish. Man, very scary stuff on that F smash. Just barely gets away with that. Nice. Gyro set up here. I'm sorry. Gordo set up here for. Oh no. Oh no. Not like uh, this. Yeah, up throws enough. Yeah, that Gyro being able to just uh, box you back in between uh, Rob and the Gyro like that in close quarter situations is so good. Especially good against a big character like DDD, though. But. Yeah. Anti air up smash saying, get off me. Gotta respect this move if you wanna jump in on me. So Admus again keeping the game close. Gordo set up here. Unfortunately for Ape Man, he will not panic to that one. Yeah, platform kinda of messed up that uh potential trap with the Gordo. Yeah. Oh and the gyro Ooh, set up here. for a big percent. <laughs> nice, that's a little huge, huge damage for Adamus. Back air, nice. Not that space, but you do know that Rob's back air does push him a little bit forward here, so it's enough to have him get away. Even if he misses it. Nice. Spacing on the back air yet again. Okay. Using the uh, gyro to reflect the Gordo back. So throw him off stage here. I love that from Adam is here. He stood from a reasonable distance to go for that inhale, but also still hold stage control if that does not bode well for him. Yeah. He's trying to time a shield after... Uh, he does the inhale too in case Ape Man hits it back. Exactly. Oh, Gordo, but no setup here. Oh Reason man, this is so tense. Aerial. So tense right now. They both don't want to make any mistake because the next big one will probably be the stock for both players. Oh, uh, it's a bad gyro and Gordo trade, I mean. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh nice catch. Is, nice is catch from high? I like that he throws Gyro at the Z jump at a really good height ascension and then comes back towards the right side stage. So Adamus has to make that approach towards Gyro and interact oh, with him. Unfortunately, the the back air. Okay, still enough. Still living. 
But he's at the ledge against the Gordo. He's gonna stall as long as he can just to wait out this hitbox. But Adam is applying so much pressure. Fourth throw. Great DI nope. from Ape Man. Okay, throw. Ooh. Okay, he gets down to the Ooh. ground. But there's the inhale. Oh my goodness. Dude, oh, he reacted man. so fast to that laser. <laughs> oh my goodness, this match. <laughs> this match is crazy. Dude, that was really big. I talked about it all match long, but that's why we're seeing Adamus make those plays. But the one thing that I'm enjoying from Adamus here is he's positioning himself at really key opportunities on stage where, like you said, Strides, he wants to be able to react against Ape Man if inhaling does not go well. He still wants to hold that stage control, but most importantly, he always knows why Ape Man goes for each and every projectile. Yeah. It's very it's very interesting to see. I mean, when you're playing a character like Didi, uh, you just have to know how to utilize that move. Otherwise, not only are you not going to be able to use your Gordos against the projectiles, you're just going to get hit by the projectiles yourself by being so huge. So the fact that he has all his counterplay around it is uh, probably why he's sitting here in top 8 with this character. <laughs> Most definitely, man. Yeah, that was a super, super clutch inhale, especially since it was the fully charged laser too. I think inhale does increase the knockback when it, he reflects it back. It, it, At does, least it little does. It increases so. knockback most of the time, and specifically here, it's ref, the way the reflectors work in Ultimate is that if you send a reflector, um, you can only be reflected twice. So, but it, the first time it's reflected by the person who reflected it. So specifically in DD's case, he will send it back at twice the speed with double the knockback. Oh, wow. Twice the speed is really good. That means, like, yeah, they even had no time to even think about, like, air dodging and shielding that thing. That was just a really good That's, play for And then the third time it's reflected, it'll stop being reflected. So whoever basically reflects it again the third time is the winner of that battle. There's no, like, infinite reflections like how Melee used to be. Right, I wonder guys. if that can even happen in this match. Like... He inhales something, then Rob does his side B reflect thing, and then... The, yeah. well, the coding of the game doesn't allow that to happen. That's the crazy thing. Oh, oh okay, okay, I see. Yeah, we probably won't see that, though. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, the third person... So if you're the third person to reflect, it's always going to be in your favor. The fourth reflect will not happen. You'll just get hit. The reflect won't go through. Okay. I mean, that's good for Adamus, then. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Even uh, if he doesn't use the inhale to reflect anything, it's just a really good command grab as well to catch a bit man shielding. Oh yeah, that's that's see that's what I like about Adamus here. I'm not a fan of Wi-Fi DD for sure, but Adamus he like like we saw with Vinny G man. He all these character specialists Ooh. they put everything that they know about the character into their gameplay at all the time. Yeah, I mean that's what it takes to um to play a character like this yeah. at this level. And that's what we can't see really just. Man. Tunnel vision on one thing, you know? Yeah, you, you really can't. And that's why we see Ape Man and Animus here in top eight. There are no slouches to their, to their characters. They always put in the work here. And Ape Man at 107, Animus at 135. He's looking for the edge guard. Active frames on each area here. Laser to make sure he's off the stage. Ape Man looking for the high. I like it too, because once again, neutral air Ooh. and the upper is going to be a really good opportunity to catch Animus going for that high recovery. Yeah, really good catch. Uh, honestly, DD so big. Kind of tough to get out of that jungle situation in the first place. But that was a really good trap from Ape Man. Oh! Wow, oh, good DI. Yeah, good DI yeah. and stage ceiling, really good for Rob there. But there's that up tilt. He did get a slight knockback increase in one of the patches, so. Yeah. Pretty good for DD. Not only is it you know, a good kill move, it's pretty fast. Ooh, Decent pressure. range. <gasps> but, ah, that was so yeah, he wanted, to, he wanted to keep uh, down tilting him into this gyro, kind of ping pong him in between Rob and the gyro, get some really dirty combos. Yeah, Nadimus okay. caught wind of that as soon as possible. Got the inhale. Picks up Gyro. I like it. Gordo set up, but not enough. You have to be careful because those Robo Arms will reflect the Gordo. Yeah, he's a little bit uh, misspaced on punishing that move. But there's that up tilt again into the up air. Great DI coming once again from Ape Man. If you DI that wrong, you can actually tire some ridiculous sense. Yeah, it's actually very similar to how uh, you can die early to Rob's up there. Mm -hmm. Back throw? No, this is a oh. down throw mix up. I like that too. No up tilt though. I, I would have loved to have seen the back throw from Ape Man just because you want more stage control and then Ape Man has more time to set up. But hey, man, I'm not with the one with the joysticks, man. Ape Man is in winners for a reason. I'm sorry, loser's side, top eight for a reason. Okay, it's hanging on this platform a little bit, but Adam is still looming on the stage. Ooh, the laser, man, going through everything. 
But <laughs> there's another Gordo from so deep. Oh, no downer, but the gyro kind of making it hard for Admins to get back on the stage. Yep, oh, the no, great eye right to the left. Wow. Okay. I mentioned these two are definitely ability. veterans. Nair, Still living here. Ape Man is hunting for this man. He's not giving him time to try to come back on the stage. Oh, oh. no. He nice use of the rip. inhale. Yeah, he used, he put the gyro under his control, so. Uh. Ape Man got hit by it, but unfortunately not able to get that dash attack to catch him at the ledge. Ape Man's going to snipe him with the up air, but speaking of snipes, the Gordo finds his mark, and now we're back in an even situation. Last stock for both players. Man, these guys have just been going back and forth, but oh my goodness, that's a lot of percent. Man, it's always it's always rough for me in this matchup, just watching like how many risks he has to take when he's using that Gordo. So you never know it's just going to end up right back in your face. But since it's such a core tool, uh, D's neutral, you almost have to use the move. Yeah. Laser. That's the one thing I kind of like, I have to admit, even though I'm not a fan of fighting Rob. Rob laser is really good because you can also anti it with it. Yeah, it's just a very, very good projectile. Up air? Oh, that's yeah, the yeah. one time we could not see the DI actually matter here. Yeah, I mean, I think at that percent, even with good DI, uh, very, very likely to die. <laughs> very, very likely in dying stage. 150. Good stuff to Adamus, though. It was looking like it could be possibly close enough. I mean, the way that Adamus is playing against Ape Man, he's he, the adaptations have been made in play here. But I, like I said, Ape Man is just a slight step ahead of Adamus, specifically in a lot of setups, but also Adamus is very well aware of those setups. We saw him fight against that possible ping pong with the inhale just to stop it in the nick of time. Yeah, he's uh, playing around most. Oh, oh, Adamus not knows uh, Vesta 5. This is top 8, right? Uh, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to them in the chat. <laughs> He's coming back. Yeah, it's best of three, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best of uh, five. It's all good, man. Ape Man thought he was a Xanadu. No worries, man. It happens. It happens. A lot of oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot I, of way for tournaments, man. Yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot okay, Danny does best of three. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of Wi Fi tournaments, man. It's kind of hard to keep track of the rule sets here and there. So, yeah. I'll always be sure to check. But good stuff, too. Good stuff on Ape Man because he did call a mod just to double check. And then he remembered, hey, wait a minute, I'm on the wrong, I, I'm on the right tournament, but wrong tournament thought process here. Wait a minute, MSM, not Xanadu, but anyways, going to game five without further delay here. Game four, yeah. Game four, oh my god, see, even I'm, I'm messing up here. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool to see this go at game five. I wouldn't be but, surprised, uh, too. Yeah, yeah. Towards the end of that last game, though, uh, man, Admus was just getting tripped up a lot by the, those gyro setups. Yeah. Forwarder into double down tilt, excellent. But, man, I, I talk about it so many times, Ape Man said that down tilt is probably one of the greatest down tilts in the game. Right next to probably Marts, Jokers, God, there's so many. Yeah, Rob's is definitely one of the best, though. Yeah. There's so many, so many combo setups he gets out of it. Really safe on shield as well. Imagine oh, being a zoner and then having a save on shield down tilt that can combo into itself or another area. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Rob's really good. <laughs> it is. Really yeah, Rob is really character. good, man. That's what we're finding out right now. <laughs> but even not able to come back to the stage. Missing the oh. up smash here and Adamus at a really tough spot at the ledge. Trying to hold true, but Ape Man puts in that down smash at the last second after the up smash. Okay, it's the shield grab on the nair. They've been mentioning really smart about uh, how he gets off the ledge for the most part. It hasn't been easy for admins to abuse the Gordo. 
to get kills. Yep, just stays patient, waits for the Gordo hitbox to go away. But there's that up smash. Really good at catching jumps. It's the second time Admins has gotten that this set so far. Yeah, you can just throw the Gordo out anytime he thinks Admins is gonna try to ledge chop him with the uh, or the gyro. You can throw the gyro out anytime he thinks Admins is gonna ledge chop him with the Gordo. He just hits it right back in his face. Yeah. Nice favorite grab. favorite grab. Yep, almost to the floor. Oh. Not enough. No pointer though. Yeah. Percents do play a factor when grab combos can work. Yeah, S percent looks like he has a kind of beta air dodge. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent on the gyro there. Like I said, Adam is always looking to try to work that against Ethan Man when he can. And Hale, what an excellent counter play here. Gets to also take in the laser if Ape Man goes for that option. Gordo forces Ape Man to move here, but he comes right back down with the down tilt. Excellent play, and he's kind of oh. like a oh, oh my man. god. <laughs> Ape Man's always so aware where the gyro is on stage to set that up. And that was looking like such a good ledge trap from Adamus too. Yeah, it was. Oh, oh, but there's a quarter trade. Hard place, man. Great parry on the go. nair. And Rob's able to drift back really far on that back air, so it's not easy to get a shield grab on it. Oh, too much startup on the back air. That could have been a nice inhale to back air combo for Adamus. Nice. Counterplay against the inhale coming with the neutral gets the grab down throw up tilt up air okay 115 here and oh. Ethan Man with such a commanding lead at this moment here oh what a what a play what a play what a play I like it too you stopped them right before you even get the arm rotor out drifts back oh <gasps> Yo. oh favorite he's is he dead for this yeah he's dead for yeah this. oh man so that was actually so smart from. Ape Man to go backwards on the arm rotor. Yeah. Because I actually messed up uh, Adamus' punish just slightly.